One year from today, you will remember this day because this lady is the hottest female vocalist all over the world. She's in 97 trillion television shows in the last 20 minutes, and how she can look that good and fly across the Atlantic and do all this stuff is beyond me. The amazing thing was, this song was first called 9 to 5 in England. It was a hit. Of course, 9 to 5 is Dolly Parton over here, so they call it Morning Train. Ladies and gentlemen, a multi-talented lady, <laughs> Sheena Easton. There have been many, many people who've appeared here over the years, and this is very exciting because this is one of the few times that we know ahead of time you're, you are an international star and you're only going to get bigger. Did you plan it that way? Did you know you would be successful? Yeah. Did um, you really? Well, I sort of hoped I would be since I was about, I don't know, about six or seven. We better clarify one thing because there's somebody watching. There's a town in the United States called, we'll say, Peoria, and they're listening to that accent and they're saying, I wonder where she's from. Where are you from? Scotland, yeah. You went to the Royal Scottish Academy? I did, to study drama, but um, I always intended to sing. That was just my education that the grown-ups said I had to have. You know, it's a very rare thing. I read the back of your album it was dedicated to your mother and your family. Now, that's very touching. Why did you do that? Because I love them and because they've given me more support than anyone I know. Have they been rooting for you all the way, along the way? Yeah, I think my mother bought most of the copies of the first single. Now that's, I want to talk to you about the first one. What was it called? Um, Modern Girl. It didn't do well the first time out. It 
didn't, well, it went into 56 in the charts. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I thought it was uh, just sort of mediocre. That's rather good. But then Morning Train came out, then 9 to 5 in England. And then what happened to the other song? Well, I did a TV show and all the public took another interest in it. It followed in and both of them went into the top 10 at the same time. Now, this lady has top 10 records all over the world. Now, how many television shows have you done before you did this one today in the United States? Um, about four. Four in about three days, and you did 10 or 11 in Europe before you yeah. came here? Yeah, yeah. When do you work for the Queen? Um, well, I did that. I just you did it already? Yeah, I did that in November. Is that exciting? It was really exciting. I was disappointed, you know, that I wasn't chosen to be the next one, but... <laughs> Chosen to be the next queen? Or yeah, yeah, because Prince Charles is just he's, a nice He's guy. found a girl. Well, yeah. that's made Diana a big hit over there again. Yeah, that's true, that's true. You return home now? I'll be going to Toronto, then to New York, then back home, then Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and on and on. And you will see her back here, merely skin and bones a year from now. <laughs> when do you plan to return to the United States? As soon as possible, but I'll definitely be here in July to record the next album. Will you come and visit us? Yes. Thank you, Robert. Let's do the song that went to, the one that your mother brought all the copies of. It's called? Modern Girl. Will that be the next release here? Maybe. Maybe. Hope so. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Sheena Easton. <laughs> This is the inimitable voice.